Hi there, my name is Ronnie, and you are watching this lesson so you can learn English. Right? Good? Yeah. Alright, today we're going to learn about a very confusing thing in English called tag questions. I'm here to help you make it easier. Um, if you studied tag questions before, there's going to be three different options of what you should say to agree or disagree with someone. I'm going to teach you one easy way to do it so that you can just use this answer all the time. It's that easy. First of all, making the tag questions. This is pretty easy. The difficult part is how to answer the tag questions. So let's come up with a couple tag questions. First one. <coughs> Whoops. Yeah. You are from India. So what we need to do is you have to try to fill in the tag question at the end. This is how you do this. If this is positive, we're just going to use the negative and the same subject, but we're going to switch the position. So what's the negative of R? It's art. And the beginning goes at the end. So you say to the person, you're from India, aren't you? Let's try another one. Ah, uh, that's funny. So let's do this one backwards. We're going to put you at the end of it. So this is positive, so we must use the negative here. What's the negative of like? Like not? You like pizza, not like you? Huh. No. If we were living in the time of Shakespeare, that would be awesome. We're not living in the time of Shakespeare, thank God. So. Does anyone know what we have to use instead of like? We have to use the lovely auxiliary verb do. You like pizza. So we can either use do, does, doesn't, or don't. Those are our four options. What do you use with you? We use do. The negative is don't. Woo. So you're going to say, you like pizza, don't you? This is another one of the verbs that we don't say smell not. We have to use the auxiliary verb do. You smell lovely. We put the you here. And this is positive. We're going to make it a negative. Don't you? Okay. Let's try another one. Let's use something different other than you this time. Now, you can say have not, but it's better to use the auxiliary verb do again, okay? Um, if you look in a grammar book, they would write have not, but we don't use that in Canada and North America, and it's very, very old school, old style to be used in Britain nowadays. So, we're going to use the same idea. This is positive. We're going to use the same verb here as here, and we're going to use the negative don't they, okay? So, 
a lot, some of the verbs in English we have to change to the auxiliary verb. Let's do a few more just to help you with this. <clears throat> he is smart. Yay! Toot, toot. So, once again, this verb is positive. We must change it to negative, and we're keeping the same subject. The subject goes at the end, and we're going to use the negative of is, which is isn't. Okay? So we have are, you, is he, aren't, isn't. She has a car. So this does not change. If you can remember the rule for have or has, we have to use the auxiliary verb do. But what do we use with ha, uh, uh -oh, she or he? We don't say do she. We have to say doesn't she. As long as we use she or he, we have to change it to doesn't she or doesn't he. Okay? Let's do some more of these. Now, sometimes people will ask you a negative question, like this. And they always look surprised when they ask you this. You aren't from USA. Hmm. This word is in the negative. So we must change this to positive. <laughs> Easy. One more. We shouldn't drink pop. Pop is the Canadian word that we use for um, soda. In America they'll say soda pop and in Canada we say pop. It just means fizzy drink if you like that word. Um, it's not juice, it's like Coke or Pepsi. So we shouldn't drink pop. This again is negative going to write the positive should we okay so an easy rule if this is positive your tag has to be negative the subject doesn't change what does change sometimes though is the verb some of the verbs you have to use an auxiliary verb do don't does or doesn't so that's fairly easy to understand the questions the difficult part is the answer, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, let's take one, let's take our first question. Now, if someone said to me, you're from India, aren't you? Uh, no. I want to say, no. That's the easy answer. You're from India, aren't you? No. So, we can say, no. I'm not. If you want to make it really, really easy, just say, no. You're from America, aren't you? No. And smile. If you want to, you're going to use this, no, I'm not. Okay? If we look at number four, you aren't from USA. Are you? Huh, how confusing. You aren't from USA. So, I'm not from America. What would I say? You're not, you aren't from USA, are you? If I said, yes, 
I am. That means that this answer is wrong. You aren't from the USA, are you? Yes, I am. From USA. I'm not from USA, so I'm going to say no. You aren't from USA? No, I'm not. Okay? We shouldn't drink pop, should we? Hmm. If you agree with this, you're going to say no. If you disagree, you're going to say yes. The hardest part is deciding if you're going to say yes or no. That's up to you. So, when we make the tag questions, it's pretty easy answering them. The ending part's difficult. To make it easy, just do as natural speakers do and just say yes or no. And smile. That'll help you a lot. All right. You had fun, didn't you?